Vertical multi-streaming is here. That means you can now stream on Instagram Live, YouTube Shorts and TikTok at the same time. Let's quickly start with the requirements. You need a professional Instagram account. That is free. I'll put the link to this page in the description. And if you're not pro already, there'll be a button which says switch to pro account. For all of these methods, you then want to get your Instagram stream key. So click create on the left, click on live video, give it a title. I've chosen test underneath audience, choose public. I'll just choose practice and then press next and your stream key will appear after a few seconds. You won't have to do much for YouTube. For TikTok Live, you also need a stream key, but you can get one for free by joining a free agency. I've got a list of agencies on my website here, as well as an explanation of the benefits. Basically, if you stream more than 10 or 20 hours a month on TikTok Live, I see absolutely no downside to join a free agency. If your country doesn't have an agency listed on my website, you can scroll down and read the information, which explains how to find one. So now let's look at three ways to multi-stream. We're gonna look at YOLOcast, Atom Vertical, and Streamlabs. We'll start with YOLOcast. We're going to set up a stream inside OBS, then send it to YOLOcast. I'll put OBS in the description. At the top, click Profile and click New. I've named mine YOLOcast Vertical or something like that. Show the Auto Config Wizard. Optimize it for streaming and press Next. Choose 1920 by 1080, but we're going to change that later. Choose 60 and choose Next. Underneath Service, click Custom. For now, I'm just going to type anything into the box and we'll come back to YOLOcast and get the correct information later. Uncheck Estimate Bitrate and set it to 6000 and then press Next. It's given us some good settings. Now press Apply. I'm also going to click Scene Collection New. I've named it YOLOcast Vertical Scenes and I'll press OK. I'm now going to head back into the settings underneath audio. I'm going to quickly add my headset and I'm going to add in my microphone. We're going to stay in the settings and click onto video. And here's where it goes vertical. So we're going to type 1080x 1920 into this box. Underneath output skill resolution, I'll click the drop down and match it. And once I press OK, it's added in both our audio and we're now on a vertical canvas. I'll put my more detailed OBS guide in the description, but underneath sources, I'm just going to add a display capture and a video capture device. So there we go. I've added my lower quality second camera. Let's now set up YOLOcast so that we can multi-stream on three vertical platforms, Instagram, Shorts, and TikTok. Before we go any further, I will note that YOLOcast has given me free access to the platform, but this is not sponsored and I can say whatever I want. I'll put YOLOcast in the description as well as details on how to get yourself a free trial. I'm going to start by clicking on destinations. And as you can see, I've added YouTube and both Instagram and TikTok. You click add platform. You can just click YouTube for YouTube. For Instagram and TikTok, you basically just type the name here and the server URL and the stream key here. You can head back to the start of the video to see how I got that. You will have to change this every time. That's just how Instagram and TikTok work. We're now ready to go live with YOLOcast. I'm going to click on stream source on the left. Underneath RTMPS, it says default. I'm going to click this drop down list. I'm going to click create live event. We'll leave it on RTMP. We'll leave it on the default. Give it a title. So this is your stream title. So I've just called it test stream. I'll put the description as this is a test stream. I'll choose gaming. I'll choose a thumbnail, which will primarily go on YouTube. You should obviously upload your own. I'll just choose one of their filler ones. Underneath destinations, obviously important that we check all three. I'll go unlisted again, just because I'm testing on YouTube. And I'll just press create. As you can see, I didn't fill the date out, so it says schedule to begin right away. I'll just click onto it. And I've got a server URL and a stream key. So I'm going to copy the server URL. We're going to go back into OBS. We're going to click on settings onto stream. Now we're going to paste that in there and we'll head back to the YOLOcast website and then go back into OBS, paste the correct stream key in and press OK. Now I can click on start streaming. After a few seconds, you can see it now says stream source connected. So whenever you want to go live with YOLOcast on all of these platforms, we now just hit go live and hit go live now. And it might take a little bit of time, but it's now confirmed that we're live on all platforms. There's actually one additional step. I have to go back to Instagram and hit go live up here. You might also want to mute Chrome because right now there is no mute button on Instagram's player. When you want to end the stream, just end it in both the TikTok live center, end it here then head back into YOLOcast and stop the event. And then finally, inside OBS, we have to stop stream. So there's a few different hoops to jump through. So if you want to try YOLOcast and get a free trial of it, I'll put some information in the description that will help you. If you're finding this useful, you might be interested in my free weekly newsletter. It's called Live Success. I send it to over 1,700 creators every week. We send things like case studies of successful streamers, 
the latest streaming news and loads of tips and tricks. Once again, that's completely free. It's linked in the description. Let's look at our second vertical multi-stream method. And this time we're just gonna stay in OBS. We're gonna use Atom Vertical plugin for this. So firstly, you have to close out of OBS, then download and install Atom Vertical. It's linked in the description. Just run through the installer. The defaults are fine. Reopen OBS. If you don't see Atom Vertical at the top, click Docs and then enable the vertical scenes, the vertical sources, the scene transitions if you want, and the vertical canvas. And this is what we're gonna be working with. You can optionally make a new scene collection. And again, underneath vertical sources, I'm just gonna quickly add myself a display capture and a video capture device. So there we go. And now to multi-stream to three different platforms with Atom Vertical, I'm gonna click onto the settings cog. Underneath general, the resolution is 1080 by 1920. These other settings look fine. We'll head into streaming. And I've wiped everything so we can start from scratch here. First of all, the video bitrate should be 6,000. And then what we need to do is add three sets of stream keys, one for Instagram, one for TikTok, and one for YouTube. So again, earlier on, go back to the start of the video. I showed you how to find the Instagram one. And again, to get a TikTok live stream key, you need to join a free agency in the description if you haven't joined one. But what I haven't yet shown is the YouTube stream key. So click create anywhere on YouTube, hit go live, click on schedule stream. If you've streamed before, I'm just gonna reuse settings just to save some time. I'll go through all the different options. You should obviously take more time on this. I'm just gonna make mine unlisted and press done. And you can see it says stream key at the bottom. I'm gonna click this drop down and choose default stream key. And then I'm gonna copy the stream URL. We're gonna go back into Atom and paste it into the server box. I've given it a name as well. I've called it YouTube Shorts. Then let's head back into YouTube and copy this stream key and we'll paste it into Atom. I'll make sure I check the enable box. Again, I'm gonna press add twice. And now I'm just gonna quickly add in Instagram and TikTok Live. So there we go, all three are added. Now I did mention you want a 6,000 bit rate earlier on. Now that we've got three different streaming platforms added, it's actually gonna use six times three lots of bit rate. So this is gonna use 18 meg of upload. So this actually does depend on your computing power and your upload speed the yolo cast method we used earlier was only sending one 6k upload stream so i'm actually gonna go down to 3500 because my upload speed is a bit slower i'm just gonna use the main obs settings and i'm gonna press ok now you can see we've got this drop down list which says youtube shorts instagram tiktok or start all or alternatively i can just press this button and once i press this button i should be live on all platforms now you briefly saw an error popped up. That's because I actually didn't refresh my Instagram stream key. The Instagram stream key changes every time. So make sure you get a new one each time. And speaking of Instagram, you actually have to do an additional step. Just press go live in the top right corner. If you didn't have auto start enabled on YouTube, if you didn't have this checked, you have to press a button in the top right to start YouTube as well. When you want to end, you can end it in YouTube. You can end it in the live center and you can end it inside Instagram. These vertical live streaming platforms don't make it particularly intuitive. That's because it's probably so new. Anyway, you also need to end it inside Atom Vertical as well. All right, let's look at one final multi-stream method. This is Streamlabs Ultra. If you want to multi-stream to three platforms, Instagram, Shorts, and TikTok, you do need the paid version of Streamlabs Ultra. You can use my affiliate link to get $9 off. You could also just use this to stream on one vertical platform. Anyway, download Streamlabs desktop and log in. And then on the left, click on the settings cog, head to the video tab and make sure your base canvas resolution is custom and 1080 by 1920, along with the scaled resolution as well. You can copy these other settings as well. Click onto audio and add in both your headset or speakers and your microphone. And then click onto stream and make sure you've clicked the button to link Instagram and make sure TikTok and YouTube are linked as well. If you don't have a basic setup already under these sources, add both a display capture and video capture device and whatever else you want. And in the bottom right, you can see just behind me, it says go live. And I'm actually gonna show the advanced settings. So I'll choose a common title, then I'll choose my YouTube settings. So you wanna go through and add a description, add a thumbnail and scroll down for Instagram settings. So let me get a new stream key, click create live video. I'll choose test. I'll once again, choose practice and press next. And my stream key will now be appearing in a few seconds. So now I've just got to copy and paste this back into the Streamlabs dialog box like so. And then I just have to repeat the same thing with the TikTok live stream key. So let me just quickly obtain a TikTok live stream key. And once again, I just copy and paste this back into the relevant Streamlabs box. Again, it's a bit clunky. That's just the way vertical streaming is at the minute because it's so new. 
Anyway, once you've done that, you just press confirm and go live. And once again, inside Instagram, you will have to click go live in the top right corner. TikTok and YouTube for this method will automatically start. When you're done streaming, again, you'll have to press end stream inside Instagram. You'll have to press end inside TikTok and you can optionally press end inside this as well. And of course, make sure you end the stream inside Streamlabs as well. So like I said, vertical multi-streaming is a bit clunky. That's because it is so new. Instagram literally announced their stream key today. If you want to add TikTok alerts to your stream, then you can watch these videos.